Football managers all have their excuses. But Palestine's Izzat Hamza's are more convincing than most. He has only one professional player. Much of his team is routinely banned from travelling by Israel. And Palestine's had no home ground to play in. Till now. I think all the players are waiting this moment. Just to raise the flag of Palestine, Football Federation and Jerusalem. There is the flag in front of the platter that we are existing now. There's no doubting the Palestinians' passion for football from the street up, but the conflict and Israeli occupation have taken a massive toll. For years, the national teams had to train in Egypt and play home games in the Gulf. Now it has this, a national stadium in Jerusalem fitted to FIFA standards, a new start for Palestinians. The only picture that people have about us is about terrorism, it's about how problems between Hamas and Fatah are going on, how occupation is going on, but there is something else. There is uh, football here, we are playing football here, uh, everybody's playing, we want to show everybody in the world that Palestinian youth can uh, do something else except just like they see us terrorists. The new Palestine National Stadium is just yards away from Israel's security barrier, and that symbolizes the Palestinian team's biggest remaining problem, simply getting out of here to play in international tournaments. Palestine couldn't make its World Cup qualifier in Singapore because of Israeli travel restrictions on much of its team. Some players still can't leave Gaza to train here with the rest of the squad. There's more to be done, but for Palestinian fans, it is a start. I feel happy because this is the first time the Palestinian, the Palestinian team play in his land in his land and we hope to, uh, to win Jordanian. You hope to beat the Jordanians? Yeah, of course. Palestine will need all the help it can get in this friendly against Jordan, but this is one game where the result isn't nearly as important as just being able to take part. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Jerusalem.